Oh, where am I? Oh no. No, no, no. I knew I wouldn't be the last one. Did the Elsa tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? They've lured you into a trap, you know. And you fell for it. Because you're arrogant. Just as I am. As I was. Hey guys, and welcome back to Endral. So it looks like we've been... I'm guessing we've gone into like a dream state. I'm gonna guess. And this guy is an illusion. So... A winding, a winding illusion. Illusion? I expected a little more. I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? You're very up in my face. If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea, and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? Well, that'd be crazy if Sirius came back. The answer is no. Because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. Uh, how am I able to dream if I am actually dead? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? The last second before the water floods into your lungs. The very last instant before it tears them apart. In your mind, it could be an eternity. A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. But what's the point in talking anyway? You don't want to believe me. And I'm tired of trying to make you. Now leave me alone before we make the suppressor even angrier. He doesn't like words. He likes the silence. The suppressor? What, who are you talking about? What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope. To stop believing. And... You know, sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans, what I have to do to finally be free. Give up. Detach myself from the dreams of the past. Who knows if there were anything else than phantasms to begin with. But no, no not yet. It's too early to surrender. And isn't that what makes us human, anyway? To hope? And to just keep on waiting for that one miracle that will end the pain once and for all? Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. And you will wait with me forever. I think not, sir. Out of my way. What the? How did you do that? Wish I knew. You... You simply opened it? But that's impossible. All these years it's kept me from escaping and, and you just... Come, come on. We... We have to look. We, we have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but... But still, we... We have to see. Come, lead the way. Okay. So that's what was there? Oh no, wait, that's a guy holding a bow. Okay. Oh, I do have my sword. Okay, no, I don't. I have a dagger. A 
Sedusa. At least they're weak. By the gods, these are the scourges of the suppressor. Shit, she's got a chair. They want to punish us. Never mind, she doesn't have a chair. Oh, hello. Chairs everywhere. What the hell? Okay, so there's burnt bodies everywhere. Like most of my visions. Okay, so a written paper. Our system silence, what really drives you? Set of foot on Enderal, very fairy tale, fairy tale. You're simply wrong, all about you is wrong. You are pathetic. You know that. What would Sirius say about this? Oh, what is that? Oh. You nearly got right my way there. You nearly fucked me up. Uh. Okay, let's leave. Go up is always a good idea, so... It's so cold. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go. After all, I mean... Yeah. Yes, the cell is small, but... At least safe. Might have to up difficulty because this is actually a bit too easy. Oh, that's a hanging man right there. Oh, there's lots of hanging men. Despair, hopelessness, panic. place is really cool. How do we get out of here? Oh, okay, that scared me a lot. What the? Uh. Haven't we been here before? By the gods, everything here looks so similar. It's, it's a damn maze. I've been here before. Oh, Chill shit. yourself, man. Oh, really? We should never have left. This will be our doom. Oh, no. No, no, no. Do you see it? All the cells, they're all empty, and there's blood. Oh no. There were people in there just like us. They didn't know their place either, and now they're dead. They've simply dissolved because they dared to disobey the suppressor. <laughs> By the gods. Oh, they came out really far. Okay, so we took remorse. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. No, no, you need to relax, man, okay? Okay, so how do we get in here then? Um, we need that key. Do I actually have any like torches or anything? I don't know. I have remorse, that's it. Okay, oh, there we go. Nice. Human heart. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's take the key and put the human heart on that. No. Heart. There. No. Heart. No. Don't roll off, you got that empty wine bottle. Oh god. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Ugh. Okay, no. I had it. 
Quick, get out. I've cheated the system, it broke. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and we're back into the cell. Where are we? Oh, no. No. Oh, Can't we you are. see? We're, we're back where we... No, we're in somewhere different now. Look. What happened? You just stopped talking. What? The suppressor's punishment. It will be horrible. There must be a way out of here. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past. And that's why we do not deserve freedom. Okay, so that didn't work. Take bucket. So last time I got out of here because the shackle, no. Here? No. Sleep? Do I have to sleep? No. Take bucket? No. Okay, what now then? Did I do something what? wrong? Has it bugged out on me? Leave me alone! Punishment. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here. In every single stone. In every bone. In every drop of blood. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe. And now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. Okay, who are you? What? What's of going course on? I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. You always were. Okay, I'm a little bit confused now. Everything I just did was pointless. I tried to lead to prison together with... But there was no way out. Just what blind? What just just what binds me to this place? Is it the skull that I picked up? Remorse. Uh, drop. Does remorse uh bind me to this place? Does the bucket bind me to this place? Does the key of freedom? Does a written paper bind me? What binds me? Does the key of freedom? No. Okay, so the bucket has nothing to do with it. Get out of here. The written paper I doubt has anything to do with it either. Well, there's nothing in here to interact with, so I can only think of remorse is what... I don't really want to take the skull out just in case. Here, take the skull. Alright, I'm just going to chuck it out there and see what happens. Okay, I didn't do anything and we lost the skull now. Um, okay, I'm completely lost and confused. No, sleeping didn't do anything. What binds me to this place? You bind me to this place. Well, well. So you figured it out. <laughs> yes, I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? You my father from the beginning. Wait, see there's like rain outside the window. Holy shit. That's crazy. What's just what doing here though? What the hell is that? Oh, you can actually see out there. Nice. A wooden figurine. Okay, just spot. No. I like how there's like oh. oh hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Um, fine, I guess. Where are we? In the temple. 
The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. I'm not letting you get into my no, head. you shouldn't. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. Excuse me, bitch. I said you are pathetic. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. And a murderer. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop. So you're the ones behind this, aren't you? Why are you doing this? Why have you... What have we done to you? What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect. And the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter. Urchin. We wanted to meet you, and so we did, even though the result is rather sobering. Now wake up! Keep on stumbling through the mist. Okay, that, that whole scene was very cool, actually. How they just appeared there and... That was really cool. And they all, they all said different lines. Okay, so there's the woman there in different clothing. Have I actually woken up now? Or maybe I have. Thank Malthus. I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. Shock of shock. Shock of shocks I am. Of course, sorry. That remark was a little redundant. Okay, I don't know. But it's good to see the Grand Master was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. Does that make us keepers now? Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath. And then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the Keepers of the First Sigil. Speaking of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyrians, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> this is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. It's a bit weird that she's being told all this stuff. I figured that you'd make... I figured what... What do you make of all this? The cycle, this cleansing? Hard to say. I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the cycle will stand or fall with you. Well, of course. I'm the main character. I wish I could say that with the same conviction as him, to be honest. I don't really think I've understood all of what's happened to me yet. Uh, no, I think I do understand. So what's well, the next step? Well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grand Master as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. We both? What about Dumois? Right. 
Dunwar. The apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. I know it. Hold it. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. Uh, he will die. He doesn't deserve that. I guess we'll be no, kind. In spite of everything. Yeah, she likes that. You know, Get a good Dunwar books. was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline, and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. And who knows? Maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Character? I don't think I've seen this option before. You don't seem too shaken about well, the light being dead. maybe I just don't dead. show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunwar would have considered it blasphemy. Blasphemy. You talk about the Lightborn and their ideas as if they would have, have cost thousands of lives. And weren't as benevolent... Benevolent? I can't really say that word properly. As you make them out to be. That's true. A lot of crimes were committed during the Lightborn's reign, and I don't want to minimize that. But I also think a lot of those crimes were... unavoidable, so to speak. Imagine you're the king of a small island, and one day your realm gets attacked by a fleet of Scarag Reavers. The invasion catches you completely off guard, and within a few hours, the Reavers have advanced to the farmland, just a few feet from your city's main gates. And before you know it, you have to make a decision. Will you use the time that remains to entrench your army within the city's walls to have a better chance of surviving a siege? Or, do you send them into the field to fight the Reavers there, knowing that there is only a slight chance to save the farmers, but a big risk that you will lose both the city and the farmers? I'll draw back into the city, have a better chance of defending, and possibly risk fewer deaths that's one way to see it yes but what if your foray would have succeeded what if you could have prevented the massacre in the farmlands what i'm trying to say is it doesn't matter what you do there will be people who will despise you for your decision if your attempt to rescue the farmers fails you will be accused of having acted blindly and idealistically and if you just stay in the city they will say you didn't even try of course, there's a small chance the foray might work, but should decisions like that really be made as if they were a game of dice? As I said, I don't mean to absolve the Lightborn of their crimes, but I'd wager my left hand that they had a lot of similar decisions to make. Interesting thought. Speaking of Dumois, what was that thing about the ritual place all about? He called you a witch. Mm. I knew the question would come eventually. I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Sooner or later you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested. Shoot. As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. You don't remember? How come? I wish I knew. Oh, okay. We're going somewhere. Oh, we're looking out into the window. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy and... I don't know... empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and... Well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. Been attacked? The entire village. It had been destroyed. It was attacked. There were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. 
And it had all just happened hours before because the destruction was still fresh. Whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. One of them got off his horse, ran towards one of the corpses, and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head, and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... it's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. Why did those men attack you? Well, it turned out the riders were hunters who had come from that village. They must have observed the... whatever it was from the distance, and ridden back to the village. At least I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep, and it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child, or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. This music suits his mood very well. They really thought a six-year-old child destroyed an entire, vid an entire village. It's ridiculous. For you, maybe. For them, as simple people, it was probably the best explanation they had. And think about it, it's not that far off. A motherless child who neither talks nor breathes steadily is found abandoned on the roadside and has a strange mark on her face. They leave to go hunting, and when they come back, they find their village in ruins with oh, that foundling child being the only survivor. You have to admit, it's not that much of a stretch, even if those men hadn't been superstitious farmers. So that's not just a normal tattoo on your face, it's actually a some type of mark that you were born with. I see, and these men and these men wanted to do what exactly? Take revenge? Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. And actually, it doesn't matter, because I somehow managed to get away before they could do anything. I even made it to Ark all by myself. Which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end, because I was pathless. They brought you into the Undercity, right? Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. But maybe that's one of the advantages of being a child. You don't think. You just act. Still, the winters down there were cruel, and if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Master Tyrus, a keeper adopted you? Yes, otherwise I would not be here. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. Why is the Order so preoccupied about pathless trying to get into their ranks? It's not like we both don't have our reasons. Yeah, why did he choose you? It seems a bit random. It does, yes. But then, he had lost both his wife and daughter five years before he found me. So maybe I was some kind of substitute. I don't know. But in the end, it doesn't matter. I owe him everything. He was... a good man. And that's all that matters. Okay, that's why is the order so preoccupied? We are both still pathless. And that disqualifies us according to the Holy Verses. I guess now you understand why I was never as connected to Malthus's teaching as Dunwar was. To some of the Keepers, I am still an outcast. And no matter what I do, I always will be. So, Master Trias granted you the Novocate? The Novocate? Yes. And now I'm here. <sighs> well, here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. You're definitely not a fisherman's daughter from a village, I'll give you that. No, I guess I'm not. What happened to Master Trias? Why, where is he now? Gone. He was very old, and ah. there was nothing anyone could do about it. But 
I'd, I'd prefer not to talk about it, if you don't mind. Not cool. I'm cool with that. So, you mean, so that means Dwemer believes that this story about you being responsible for the destruction of that village is actually true. He does, yes, and he's not alone in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. Well, you're talented, intelligent, and pretty. Many reasons for other novices to envy you. Yes, maybe. Right, yeah, we're getting you right in there. Funny. We're going in. To some extent, I'm glad to be who I am. That way, people just leave me alone, and that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. Which would be? Several. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, we'll talk later. It's already late, but if you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. What do you think? That'd Good. be nice. Then get your gear from the chest by your bed and we'll go. Damn, we're getting right in there with this, this woman. God, we have a lot of crap. Oh well then, let's go. Maybe yeah, we should quit myself. Calm down. Alright, I guess we'll go with her. And we'll, I guess, take our... We'll be going to take our oath to join the Keepers. Well, let's get going then.